71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water, water which is essential for all known living creatures. Only 2.5% from the existing water stocks of the planet is fresh water. True face of the Maldives. Water, the cradle of life. The Maldive Islands were situated halfway between Africa and Australia, but under the influence of the tectonic movements, Africa, India, Australia, and Antarctica today have been separated. On the line of the fables, due to the underwater volcanic eruptions, mountain chains formed under the water, formed by coral reefs. From the coral structures that were formed, islands emerged. So this is how the Maldives came to be. The coral islands have faced several types of issues. On the islands formed from calcareous rocks, drinking water is very limited and the rising of the ocean levels, experts exert a steady pressure on the underground water reserves and the sea water that infiltrates makes the groundwater become salty. Corals are part of the Cnidaria species in the class of marine animals and corals the vast majority of them select a calcareous structure, which forms the material of the reefs. Although corals are mammals, they often live in symbiosis with simple algae. Corals provide the necessary chemical compounds for algal photosynthesis. However, algae, under the influence of stress factors, such as high temperatures, pollutants, leave the hosts, meaning that these corals lose their main food source. They bleach out and in the end they perish. Coral reefs are an integral part of the food chain. Their disappearance threatens the chance of surviving for other creatures. As an example, the Pagurus crayfish, which we can see in these shots. These crayfish live in the shells of dead snails. Just like the previous tenant, they also carry their home on the back. Such crayfish are easy to find. We wait a few minutes on the shore without moving or talking, and suddenly the little shells start speeding up. The lengths of the Pagurus crayfish can reach 12 centimeters. An animal this size usually lives in the hollow shell of the common snail. Contrary to the visible body parts, meaning the shining shell, the interior abdomen is soft and very fragile. This is why they are very shy animals.
On the Maldives Islands, there are lots of crayfish species. Some of them reside in the water, but lots of them live on the ocean shore, in sand holes, for instance, the sand crayfish and the phantom crayfish. The large sand crayfish are often found in rocky areas. There are groups that take refuge on the beach due to the large waves. The small fish banks that seek safe spots, and those that gather in groups of thousands of specimens cannot always find peace in the crystal clear water that is only 30-40 centimeters. The mangrove heron, the green heron, the sharks, but even the young moray eel hunt them. Today, plenty of grey herons were successful. The southwest monsoon slowly arrives with the damp air. Suddenly it starts raining. This is very important for the locals because a significant amount of drinking water is obtained from precipitations. The cold air front goes away as quickly as it arrives. The sand from the streets becomes dry and hot again in just a few minutes. The woman. The Quran claims that Allah created man and from man the woman so that he can have a better half. And he said that there should be love and harmony between the two. Islam considers a woman and a man to be equals but not the same. In the village, the most important job is maintaining the streets, the trails, and the beach is clean. The work is done by a woman, usually twice a week. She sweeps the vegetable scraps fallen on the ground, after which she burns them. So, the sight of the island surrounded by smoke is not so rare. Maintaining and cleaning the roads is a regular job and an important one for the locals. According to the Quran, a man's duty is to supply the family and to procure whatever is needed for the everyday living. The Muslim women have different obligations. Due to their nature, they are suitable for creating a home and looking after the children. They wish to provide for the children and their families the warmth of a home and peace in the family.
In the family life, a woman's role is as important as the man's. This is because the family does not only need security and material belongings, but also peace, an intimate family atmosphere, things that fall onto the woman. The elderly are making ropes from coconut fiber, while the young ones try to clean the beaches with sand, as white as snow. However, burning litter is not an option here. They dig a hole of half a meter depth in which they throw everything they find on the beach and then they cover it up. This task is repeated weekly in order to maintain the palm tree forests near the ocean clean. On the Maldive Islands, very few terrestrial creatures live. Mice, rats and cats were brought here by the people. Bringing dogs is strictly forbidden on the Maldive Islands. In the ocean that surrounds the coral reef, there are dolphins and whales. On the island, only the flying dog or the fruit-eating bat are indigenous mammals and they are flying and eating the fruit-eating bats. The majority of them spend their day on the inhabited island from across the island. Then after nightfall they head out in search for food. The flying Indian dog is the largest bat species. The length of this animal, head to body, is about 30 centimeters. The length of the wings can reach even 170 centimeters. Their food consists of mangoes, papayas, bananas and other fruits and their leaves. It lives for approximately 15 years. At about 7, the sun slowly starts to set. The Asian cuckoo also settles down. Almost everyone from the surface starts to rest. Underneath the water surface, a dreadful hunter. It's the moray eel. In the ocean, 200 different species and 15 families live. Despite the snake appearance, the moray eel is actually a fish, not a reptile. The largest giant moray eel can reach a length of 3 meters and even weigh 30 kilos. They hide in the coral cavities of the underground cliffs and then wait to attack.
The Mori eel's eyesight is very poor and it relies mostly on its senses. They are carnivorous and they mainly hunt small fish and octopuses, calamari and other types of crayfish. Around reefs live about four lobster species, but none of them is safe while the moray eel is hunting. The head of a moray eel is way too narrow to try and swallow the catch all at once. But they have in their mouth cavity a second jaw which also has teeth. When they feed, with the aid of the masseter muscles, it pushes the food in the oral cavity where the jaw teeth from the inside snatches it and carries it into the esophagus and then in the digestive tract. The Maldives Islands have a wonderful biodiversity. With corals and several thousand fish species. From the colorful fish of the reefs to sharks, moray eels and manta fish. Lots of manta fish live in the reefs. Among them, the largest one is the sea manta fish. As you can see here, the manta berostris. Two subspecies live in these waters. The largest one can also reach 7 meters, but even the small ones can reach 5.5 meters. The biggest manta can reach 1350 kilos. The species is considered endangered due to pollution, fishing nets and Chinese medicine based on superstitions. Malos is a typical village in the Maldives. It has 712 inhabitants. In the village, everyone is of Muslim religion. The main preoccupation is fishing, building boats and many work on the island resorts. On the island, tourism is quickly developing. They can also find small shops here, like a pharmacy, a cafe and a school. The locals practice lots of sports. The men play, the men, the men play, the men play cricket especially, football, but the women prefer volleyball. The small community has a school and a kindergarten of its own. They learn to communicate in the English language very early on. Then I will show everyone's desks and desks. The surface of the school is relatively big. It consists of multiple buildings. The boys and the girls come to schools in uniform. They come twice a day, in the morning and then in the afternoon. The health center is already closed and at sundown only the women finish cleaning the beaches. The village is resting. The next day everything starts all over. The sun crossed the horizon on the stunning tuna skin. The sun rays shine. The local anglers await a new catch. Just one doesn't want to see a fish on the table. He wants something even more exciting. It is a hard task to try and discover on the rocky and sandy bottom of the ocean the thing he longs for today, although it is there. A 
the octopus. Its skin is photosensitive. It quickly changes its color so it can adjust to the environment. The octopus is the animal with the best camouflaging capacity on the entire Earth. It can perfectly mimic the colors of its ambiance. And if this weren't enough, with the aid of special muscles, it can alter the aspect of its skin in order to resemble the rugged aspect of the place it is in. It is very treacherous. It can be found all over the world, but it prefers warm seas. The maximum length of an octopus is 3 meters. Its body weight can reach up to 25 kilos. Due to its camouflaging ability, it is not easy to catch. The locals are skillful hunters. With a lance, with a bent tip, they pull out the octopus from its nest. And then, they prick it. An octopus is considered a true delicacy. With a salad, fried in oil with garlic and wine, pané, either way it is a tasty and favored meal. The terrestrial biotypes of the Maldive Islands are endangered. The small fields of the country are progressing quite rapidly. In the past, the inhabited islands were occasionally visited, but now there is hardly any untouched land in the whole island. The majority of the habitats of the local species were severely threatened or destroyed in the past decades. The young ones have the hard task of defending their country, protecting their original fauna and flora and finding solutions for something else. And the lack of that certain thing is none other than the base of all creatures, meaning fresh water. Narrator Adriantima.